Okay, gang, I want to introduce you to my friend Leslie, who is one of the most talented people you're ever going to meet. Uh, you are a performer. You are a, a creative, really one of the most creative people I know, and a very talented graphic designer. Aww, thank you, Dave. And the reason Leslie's on the show is she is the graphic designer here at Adventurous Brewing. Yay! Now, I know that that was something that you'd wanted to do for a time, was, was do art for craft beer. Yes, I am a huge fan of craft beer. Absolutely love it. Uh, almost a craft beer snob, if you will. And I wanted to take my graphic design talents and mix them with uh, craft beer for, and I've wanted it for a long time. It's a bucket list item, actually. And I was, I was gonna say, like, of all the breweries to do, Adventurous oh. Brewing is, I mean, it's, it's a perfect match, yes. yes? So you're trying to tell the story of the beer graphically and what can kind of help me figure out how you do that what are some of the the tricks because you can tell a lot about the beer even without even reading what's on it right you can you can tell like if you look at something with the colors you know what you're in for as opposed to more of like a muted kind of color scheme for some other beer right as i was drinking these beers they all have their own personalities and so i didn't want to negate that for the sake of a formulaic option so in Adventurous Beers, the can is always, the label on the can, the logo on the can is always in the same spot every single time, but the design can change around that. And even the logo itself can be in the color scheme and the feel of that beer in the design on the label. And I, I was, Chris and I, Chris Strelstad and I were talking about that just recently and he was all about it. So more often than not, you, you given your druthers, you want to taste the beer before you decide what the artwork's going to look like. It would be ideal, but by the name, I kind of get an idea of what that's going to be. Uh, they come up with the name and you come up with the artwork? To date, I have not come up with a name. For have they beer. ever asked you to? Because you would be very good at that. They have not asked me yet. With the artwork, it, it seems too that everything is different and I think and I hope you take this as a compliment. Okay. I think you could look at the different cans. If you had a bunch of different adventurous brewing beers on a, on a shelf and you had the different styles, I think you would be forgiven if you thought different people did each can. That sometimes they're, they, they look all very cool, but the style is so different. You follow that, what I I'm saying? That, I take that as a huge compliment because as a graphic designer, I would not consider myself an illustrator. But boy, my illustration skills have really gotten brushed up in, in working with Adventurous. And my illustration style just changes as I'm working on that label. For example, Adventure Begins, which is a beer that's out right now. It's a strawberry marshmallow sour. The story behind that was it was a keg that Chris Trostad made for a couple that was going to get married that they commissioned. And he loved the taste of it so much. He's like, I have to can it. So Chris talked to me about that, and we kind of tongue-in-cheek made it an homage to that couple. So if you look at the can, it was done in a, a storybook watercolor kind of approach, you know. Whereas Bin, which is the uh, the logger that's out right now, right. was uh, an idea of John's, and it was named from John for the the super big beer nerds that are out there that have to get that beer. And so I kind of teasingly drew zombies people that only thought of beer one word and they had to have it so that can is illustrated with zombies all over it so it's not just making the can look cool so people want to buy it you want to tell a story something about the beer but also a story yeah absolutely a one panel story about what the beer is this beer adventurous beer is such a complex every flavor is complex i want the cans to be too now the next time we come back to adventurous brewing in a, in a future episode it'll be because we're here in the, the brewing facility. They're working on the tap room, which will be open later on this year. Ooh. Do you have any, any say in what that's going to look like? I think I have a little bit of a design say to it. But uh huh. You I'm don't want, You want to give us a scoop? You want to tell us what's going to be? I want you to explore it for yourself when it happens. Right. I do want you to taste some beers right now. Play, if you want to play Gauntlet, we can. I tried. Yeah. Can we, can we try a beer? And Let's do you have do one it. that has like your artwork on it? or? Uh, we have, uh, moving forward, all the cans will have my artwork since about October. I will never say no to sampling 
any craft beer, but especially <sighs> adventurous brewing. So yeah, uh, why don't we make that happen through the magic of editing? Where's the beer at? <laughs> magic, look at that, the beer appeared. All right, so this is more than suitable. Tell me about this beer. Well, I, I, we can talk about the beer when, when we drink it. Tell me about the design, because it's got kind of like a 007 thing going on here, right? So there are there were actually three uh, suitable beers. Okay. And so there was, the original was Leisure Suit. Okay. And then we went to, uh, la 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 la, more than, or no, we went to, yeah, Leisure Suit. Shoot. What was that other, the second beer, Chris? Suitable. Suitable. So, okay. Suitable. So the first beer was? The first, so the first beer, there was three of them. So the first beer was Leisure Suit. Okay. And then the next beer was Suitable. And now this is more than suitable. More than suitable. And they went up in complexity as they went. So uh, Leisure Suit was literally a uh, Herb Tarlick plaid suit can. Right. And then the second one was 1980s ode to prom, blue, powder blue, uh, tuxedo. And then this, more than suitable. Uh, Chris wanted a tuxedo. He thought this beer was tuxedo worthy, and I just turned it into, I upped the ante and made it James Bond. License to drink 10.2. 10.2, baby. This is a triple IPA. Worth every ounce. Oh my gosh. This is phenomenal. See? So if we're playing Gauntlet right now. Okay, well, let's do it. Which James Bond, James Bond, actor wise, would this beer be? This, okay, this is how we play the gauntlet. Mm -hmm. I picked a subject. This is the Pierce Brosnans of triple IPAs. Because I was familiar with him before uh, he was James Bond, right? Like I knew of Remington Steele. Uh, and of course his work in Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, I was a fan before, but then when he became James Bond, I was all in and I thought he was terrific. It's it's wonderful what this is doing for the franchise. Now if I get Yeah, to I'm gonna choose, go Pierce Brosnan. Okay. Which which bond do you think this beer I is? I am going with this is the Sean Connery because it's masculine. It'll beat the hell out of ya. <laughs> but you also women also want to make love to it. Okay. <laughs> right. And that's Gauntlet. That's Leslie's that's the Well Leslie you're an enormously talented person. I tell you this all the time. Thank you. And I'm so glad that you're here doing great work for Adventurous Brewing. Uh, thanks for having us. Thanks for the beer. Thanks, man. And I'm uh, proud to be here. Perfect. Keep up the good work. Tap room opens in the spring, guys. Oh, Looking we'll, forward to seeing y'all. We'll be back. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.